but a lot of my constituents and co-workers and folks I talk to every day, the question is, is how, how long will our state agencies allow another state or group or entity or government poison our environment? And so the, the question would be, from this day forward, from today, what measures can be taken from our state regulatory agencies to ensure that, one, um, enough, we put enough behind what we're going to, you know, we're going to defend that should it ever happen again, and, and what can we do to remedy what's happening now? So I guess I'll throw that out to whoever. Chairman, so John Schroeder again, uh, Deputy Secretary of Regulatory DEP. So first to start with, um, we don't have the jurisdiction over Valdosta themselves. However, that doesn't mean we're convicted by it. So right now, it's my understanding, and it's just what we've been saying before, I think uh, Georgia's DEP version is working on some kind of enforcement action in the center. So the unique aspect of the center. Yeah. Oh, good one. Can y'all hear in the back? No. No. All right. <laughs> what we'll do, if it's okay with y'all, we'll stand up. We'll okay. talk. That, that's all right. Man. Y'all can you hear in the back now. We're, we're at home here, right? So, uh, and wave your hand. He's a good guy. He's testified before my committee a number of times that he's a good guy. And he won't mind you saying I can't hear you. All right? As I've known this, Senator, I appreciate that too. And if I say something that's confusing, please interrupt me and ask again. You don't have to wait for So we don't have jurisdiction over Valdosta themselves because the state of Florida is a sovereign state. However, it's my understanding right now that Georgia is going through the enforcement process with the city of Valdosta. And what I was saying was the unique feature about the Clean Water Act is that those consent orders are public and they have to take input on the consent orders. So from the regulatory perspective, one of the first things we're going to do is we're going to see what comes out in terms of this consent order, whether we want to raise comments, and I'm sure this will probably be a discussion for legislature as well as some of the representatives, from a state's position, not only a county position, but from a state position. Whether um, comments are made toward the consent order, whether it's something like we would want to do when we do our consent orders in the state of Florida. Um, I'm a recovering lawyer myself, so I usually keep a very close eye on these documents in terms of wiggle room and actual time frames. I'm realistic in understanding that capital improvements are expensive and take time. However, I'm also understanding that usually people ask for way more time than you actually need. So that's one of the first things that we have to look at. And I know from a sampling perspective, I'm not going to speak too far outside that realm of knowledge, but I was going to turn that over to Greg to explain how the sampling occurs, and that kind of puts us immediately where we're at. And please, I, I won't go really into being the moderator. I, any any questions from any of the folks at the table we have, just please bring them up now, and then we'll go into. Um, hopefully, we'll answer a lot of questions. Um, yes, sir. Well, Commissioner, to answer 